Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, I want to speak about uh, the Islamic law in Austria. You know, we have in Austria Islam as a religion similar to Judaism and Christianism since 1912 recognized. And since the 31st of March, so since 24 days, we have a new Islam law called Islam Law 2015. Considering that the Islamic law dates back to 1912, it is legitimate both in terms of policy as well as from the perspective of those being subjects to the law to speak of a need for the amendment and adjustment to the realities of the 21st century. The essential question in this situation is whether the amendment will continue the successful history of Austria in dealing with Muslims or represents a steep backwards. And this question has to be answered and I will try to give possible answers to this question. The Islamic law was passed in 1912 and accepted, as told before, the Islam according to the Hanafi rite. It was only in 1987, so 75 years later, when the Constitutional Court in Austria has lifted the restriction on cognition with the Hanafi rite as unconstitutional. When the Islam was recognized as a religion in 1912, it lacked an institution that served as a contact point for the state and should safeguard the interest of Muslims living in Austria. Only in 1988, in accordance with the Islamic law of 1912, by means of a regulation, an Islamic religious community as an institution was established in Austria. This meant that the institutional recognition was created. This Islamic religious community in Austria, in German, Islamische Glaubensgemeinschaft in Österreich, was those responsible as the official contact for the state to safeguard the concerns and interests of all Muslims living in Austria. This sole representation of the Islamic religious community in Austria lasted until 2010. With this knowledge, in 2010, the Constitutional Court stated that beside this Islamic religious community in Austria, although other religious communities may exist in Austria. And this paved the way for the recognition of other Islamic societies. For the Islamic religious community in Austria, which was established in 1988, as I taught, this meant that they could only represent their members and those Muslims who find themselves in the presentation of the teaching, the doctrine. Accordingly, the sole representative of the Islamic religious community in Austria leaned to the end. The Islamic law of 1912 introduced in principle a Europe-wide recognized exemplary legal basis for the establishment of Islam as a fixed part of the Austrian religious landscape. In terms of content, uh, regulation and control technology, it reflects those times again, the Islam law of 1912. After 103 years, an amendment to the extent became necessary, both due to legal and factual grounds, because some provisions were outdated or no longer met the current requirements of modern law. On the one hand, it was wanted to create terms suitable to today's circumstances, and on the other hand, to be responsive to modern understanding of cultural legal regulation and also handle the specifics of the religious communities. The new Islam law 2015 now consists of six sections and 33 paragraphs. The old version of the Islam law of 1912 was built only of two sections and eight paragraphs. So due to the, the propagation of the law, it is possible to include a detailed regulatory section of the new Islam law. 
The purpose of the amendment was to create a clear legal basis and regulation of the rights and obligations for Muslims. Perhaps more fundamentally, it should be noted that the Islamic law 2015 now provides a new structure for Islamic religious communities. The focus is the Islamic religious community in Austria, which is strengthened by the law and gets more responsibility. The entire Islamic mode, means mosques or dissemination of teaching, must be carried out only under the roof and the responsibility of the Islamic community in Austria. If you consider that currently associations do operate mosques, these associations are obliged in that they will continue to operate mosques to arrange themselves under the umbrella of the Islamic religious community in Austria. If associations that are operating mosques do not want to come together under the roof of the Islamic religious community in Austria, they are obliged to change their status and remove the dissemination of Islamic teachings from their status. By this way, they can become social associations, educational or cultural associations. If these associations are not classified under the umbrella of the Islamic religious community in Austria and do not change their status, they are closed by administrative decision of the Minister of Interior. So the Islamic law 2015 regulates the outer rights balance between two recognized Islamic societies. The firstly, the Islamic religious community in Austria, which was established in 1988, and secondly, with the Islam law 2015, the Islamic Alawite religious community in Austria. The Islam law 2015 provides that Islamic societies represent their teaching and to transmit it to the competent, competent culture and education office, to the responsible authority. The presentation of the teaching is of very important significance as they are used in possible new applications of Islamic religious societies for recognition according to the new Islam law. Whether the request for a new Islamic religious community or their doctrine is already covered by already recognized religious associations or not. Therefore, it is now the task of these two recognized Islamic uh, associations for the Islamic religious community in Austria and the Islamic elevate religious community in Austria to present their doctrine, their teaching by the end of 2015. The Islamic religious community in Austria is aware of this important task and currently a committee is working at the presentation of the teaching. The presentation of the teaching is relevant to the question of whether there will be more religious societies besides the two mentioned before uh, exist or not. So I have also described in that way, that the Islamic law, the new Islamic law, in trust is a new recognition law that the recognition of Islamic religious communities governs. In the presentation of the teaching about that I, speak before, I spoke before, the Islamic religious community in Austria will also be required to provide a translation of the Holy Book Quran. Here it should be noted that the unit Quran translation is out of question. But the Islamic religious community in Austria has to specify all Quran translations and transfers respectable for them and releasing them at the cultural and education office. So the lawmaker wants to know what is written in the Quran and considers the Quran translation as a part of the teaching. And this point is a very legally moot point because part of the teaching of the Islamic community in Austria is the Quran in its Arabic language. An obligation to transfer the Quran to German or other languages could be unconstitutional. So this is a question that could clarify the subject of an appeal 
to the Constitutional Court for review of the constitutionality of this provision. Another point in the Islam law uh, that has also caused a lot of criticism is the rule in relation to foreign financing. The Islam law 2015 provides that regular financing from abroad is prohibited and Islamic religious communities in Austria have to sustain itself. This refers, for example, the imams, for example, from Turkey, who are delegated from abroad and are officials of another state. Here the law says that the use of public employees as an imam in the exercise of their employment, of their religious functions, is not permitted. This provision is one of which the constitutionality is legally questionable. Again, a complaint with the Constitutional Court will be useful for the purpose of clarifying the constitutionality. Related to this, it must be said that the Islamic law 2015 prescribes that Islamic theolog theological studies are to be set up at the University of Vienna so that the spiritual offspring is formed, educated, at the University of Vienna. So lawmakers want that trained theologians are used in mosques as imams in Austria. So these theologians should be the future imams in Austria's mosques. Furthermore, the law provides that Islamic religious societies have the right to religious care in specialized institutions, meant in armies, in prisons or hospitals, and youth education. The Islamic religious societies and their members are so entitled by the law to guide their children and young people through all traditional customs and educate them according to the religious commandments. Another point concerns the dietary laws. The Islamic religious communities have the right to organize the production of meat and other food products in accordance with their domestic religion social legislation in Austria. Furthermore, the Islamic law 2015 provides that Muslims' religious holidays and the time of the Friday prayer between 12 and 2 shall also be covered by the protection of the state. On Islamic religious holidays, and during the Friday's prayer between 12 and 2, all avoidable noise causing actions, as well as public meetings close to place of worship they may, that may have an impairment of the celebration of the prayer, should be prohibited. Furthermore, the Islamic law 2015 provides the legal basis for cemeteries and cemetery departments for Muslims. Another right, Muslims, uh, for, of Muslims is the possibility that the Islamic religious community should be entitled to submit opinions, statements, reports, and proposals on matters which concerns them to the branches of the legislature and government at all levels. Another point is to protest, protect, is to protect the secrecy of religious functionaries. This means that religious functionaries, for example imams, may not be heard as witnesses in respect of that which has been entrusted to them under the seal of secrecy. In summary, it must be noted that the legal analysis shows that legal progress has been made between the Islam law 1912 and the Islam law 2015. It is finally the political dealing with Muslims in Austria, which has to be discussed. If the law of Islam is criticized in Austria, that it is not a normal religious law, then this criticism is not unjustified, due to the political style and the handling of political functionaries with the matter. When it is clearly established in a law that Muslims have to abide by the law means primacy of Austrian law, then one must also not be surprised if Muslims feel under suspicion, 
especially since it is a matter of religion that is recognized by law since 103 years. The argument that Islam law from 1912 also has regulated the primacy of Austrian law doesn't invalidate this criticism. This argument will merely serve not to regulate precisely the primacy of Austrian law in the Islam law 2015, since any special need no longer exists. The Muslims and Islam as a religion are an integral part of the society. It goes without saying that Muslims abide the laws. The Muslims would rather need, expect political office holders they, that they abstain as a signal of acceptance and recognition of Islam and Muslims in Austria on the clear assignment of the primacy of Austrian law you would uh, for granted. Another point is the foreign financing. If the legislature prohibits the ongoing funding from abroad, this is legitimate. But that such a provision is only found in Islam law in turn is not uh, traceable in any way. So it is not enough to point in the explanatory notes that for every religious society recognized by law, the current foreign financing is prohibited. Rather, the lawmaker would have to find a legal basis in another way, so it is clearly determined that this ban on foreign finding applies for any religious society recognized by the law. Now, the Muslims in Austria do expect some important times. The doctrine, the teaching, uh, needs to be presented till the end of 2015, and the constitution of the Islamic religious community in Austria, in German, Islamische Glaubensgemeinschaft in Österreich, must be adapted to the new Islam law. It has to be seen how Muslims will address these critical tasks. Thank you very much.